For Fazira Nansuela, a resident of Nabulanganga village in Chubuko district, every dawn is a precursor to a new set of challenges. She is a person with disability, but this has not affected her seeking and enjoying of her human rights. The mother of eight, Nansuela has to strive to ensure her children live the desired life. Although four of her children were delivered at home, the other four were in health centers. She, however, dreads visit health centers, claiming medical workers despise her due to her physical nature. Seeking health services is a challenge to Nansuela due to lack of mobility. At the facility, delivery beds and restrooms are not configured for use by people with disabilities. These are some of the challenges facing disabled mothers in Kibuku and elsewhere in Uganda. Inquiry into the plight of the marginalized and seeking collective stakeholder solutions is part of what the community scorecard study of Maka University School of Public Health in partnership with the Research in Gender and Ethics Initiative is exploring in Kibuku. The community scorecard is a two-way and ongoing participatory tool for assessment, planning, monitoring and evaluation of services. It is an exciting way to increase participation, accountability and transparency between service users, providers and decision makers. So we always pay a lot of attention to, for example, mothers delivering the health facilities. Uh, mothers receiving funds for our prevention of malaria. But we never think about this disabled mother, how she has delivered in the health facility, or this albino mother, how she has felt treated in, in the facility. So I think because we are integrating people with disabilities into the community score, into the community processes, now this will provide an opportunity for them, for us to hear their voice. Susan Pind is another mother living with disability. She is a mother of two who struggles to access medical services. Medical workers advised her to stop her two children due to her physical disability, which caused obstructed labor. <laughs> <laughs> now, Suela and Majera's narratives are in tandem with a 2017 qualitative study by McCarran University School of Public Health that explored experiences of physically disabled mothers on maternal and newborn MNH care services in Kibuku District. The study highlighted perceptions of unfriendly services to this subpopulation in all health facilities. Like elsewhere in Uganda, physically disabled mothers in Kibuku district find unique barriers in accessing MNH services due to mobility problems, unfriendly physical infrastructure, unresponsive midwives, and low awareness of the maternal and newborn health needs of, of women with physical disabilities. The scorecard is expected to bring these issues to both the district and the national agenda. Um, sometimes marginalized populations don't really have equal access to services like other populations do. So we want to make sure that um, as we do this, this, this scorecard, we are able to address the needs of those uh, marginalized populations. The process involves developing a scorecard through which medical workers hope to improve service delivery.
There are achievements already registered between the first scoring in November 2017 and second scoring process in February 2018. Yes, we have just started thinking about them and you see like somewhere we have put this uh, flat and somewhere there are steps because sometimes we get them so very few with wheelchairs so we move but it is one of the challenges in the unit that we don't have enough wheelchairs for these people. Implementing the required changes is however facing challenges especially due to bureaucracy in public offices. Even if the resources are be there, there is a lot of bureaucracy. How must the resources be channeled? What criteria must you undertake and so on? So the best we can do to advocate for it, then like at this big level, engineers are there who may be specifically in touch with the infrastructure design and so on. There, after if it's approved at this big level, or oh, these are the implementing pattern, then for us we just share with them what we need and the, the sort of design that will suit the service delivery. Seeking maternal and newborn friendly services for the physically disabled mothers in Kibuku district through a community scorecard approach will provide a model that promotes health access for all.